welcome back to One Soul Ting's channel. If you're new here, my name is Veronica. I am one of the social media marketing interns here at One Soul Ting. And today I'm gonna take you through how to create a perfect resume following a resume template that got our CEO, Jonathan Javier, into Snapchat. So if you'd like to see how to create your perfect resume, please keep watching. Hello everyone, welcome to the voiceover. I'm going to be creating a resume for our fictional marketing strategist, Juan Salting Wendy. If you saw the LinkedIn video a few videos back, you would know that I created a LinkedIn profile for One Salting Wendy, so I figured it'd be only right if we did a resume for her. Starting with the font, we're gonna go to Times New Roman font and change the size to 15 point font. Making sure that we are center aligned, we are going to write her name at the top of the page, bolding it as well. Clicking return and going back to 11 point font, we're gonna go ahead and put her location. Her LinkedIn profile link, her phone number, and her email. Since Wendy doesn't have a real phone number, I just put 333 and she doesn't have a real email address, so I just put email and you do want to make sure to hyperlink your email address. After I hyperlink the email, I hit return twice to start the next line. The first section we're going to be working on is the education. So I went ahead and typed that in all caps and bolded it. And then I'm going to insert a horizontal line. The horizontal line just helps keep everything clean and organized. So for this first line, we're going to go ahead and put the university that she attended, which was San Jose State University. Now this part is a little tricky, so just watch my mouse, click on the ruler and select add right tab stop. Now what you see is another arrow on our ruler and we're going to just drag it over top of the arrow that's pointing down. This will ensure that everything on the right hand side stays aligned. As you can see here, my cursor is right next to the word university and all you need to do is click tab to get the cursor to the right hand side. And we're going to go ahead and put the location of the university, which is San Jose, California. Now clicking return to go to the next line, we're going to include the degree that she got, which is a bachelor of science in marketing and she graduated with latin honors which is summa cum laude in may 2020. for our first bullet point we're going to go ahead and include her gpa which was 3.9 as well as the clubs the courses and any awards she's won in college hitting return twice we're going to go ahead and go to the work experience section so for Wendy's work experience, we're going to start with her current role at One Salting and work our way backwards. We're going to go ahead and add Wendy's title at One Salting as well as how long she's worked here. Now, when putting in the bullet points for your work experience, you don't wanna just list what you did. You wanna list what you did and how you did it and what impact that resulted in. You also wanna quantify your work wherever you can so that recruiters can really see the impact that you had on the company. As you can see here, she remodeled social media strategy resulting in 103K reach and increased LinkedIn engagement by 5.1%. Also, don't forget to start every bullet point with an action verb. For our second bullet point, we're saying that Wendy strategized with leadership committee by sharing insights and performance enhancing suggestions to increase ROI by 10%. And then of course you would go ahead and add your third bullet point. I'm not gonna give you every single bullet point for all of her experience because I just wanna give you guys the gist. And as you can see here, we would wanna go ahead and add the rest of Wendy's experience from Target as well as Nordstrom. Again, clicking return twice, we wanna go ahead and start our leadership experience section. Leadership experience can come from campus clubs or any experience that you have outside of school where you were a leader or even if you were just a member of something, you can just say what impact you had. So here we're gonna say that Wendy was part of the Marketing Association at San Jose State University in San Jose, California. She was a member of the board as vice president from January 2020 to May 2020. Now, similar to the work experience section, you'd have about three bullet points here. You can realistically have between two and six bullet points in these sections, but it really just depends how much space you have. Again, you don't wanna merely list what you did. You wanna let recruiters know how you did it and the impact you had. 
The next section that we're going to go over is skills and interests. Now for these skills, these are not soft skills such as organization, communication. These are the technical skills. So any skills you have using data analysis tools, Microsoft, Adobe, editing software, anything like that. For this section, you can write these as little sentences instead of bullets. So we're going to say that Wendy prepared Microsoft Excel pivot tables with social media metrics to track month to month over six months, recommended new content strategies after analyzing Google Analytics at the end of each month. And again, you can add one or two more skills depending on how much space you have. You can also add languages in this section. So she is fluent in English, Spanish, and conversational proficiency in Japanese. We also include her interest which include she's a TikTok influencer with 250,000 followers specializing in comedy content. And as you have seen in the how to create a LinkedIn profile, we said that Wendy loves to rock climb. So we have that she is an avid rock climber at her local Planet Granite. So that about wraps up this video. If you guys have any suggestions of videos you would like us to do in the future, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you are notified every time we upload a new video and I will see you in our next video. Bye guys.